Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kayleigh Allen and welcome to another Repop with me. I'm gonna get straight into it today. I am living in absolute chaos, okay? It's been a really, really bad cold snap in here in the UK and I'm just, everything's just off. Everything has to be done in a different order. I can't necessarily get here when I want to. It's all all over the place, but today, we're gonna do a little bit of a repop because I actually have a lot to do this week. I'm traveling as of tomorrow for a couple of days. So today is the day that I need to film. Today's the day we do a repot. So let's get started. I haven't actually looked at your questions in advance and written them down, guys. That's how hectic this is. But before we get into that, this should be clean and I don't think they are. That's very odd. Before we get into that, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. So super streamlined one, this one. I haven't got loads to do. I'm lisping. Sorry guys, I'm lisping. It's my Invisalign tray, hang on. Okay. Because honestly, I can't, I can't bear that lisp. <laughs> there we go. Right, so today, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take one of these. This is a, I actually don't know exactly what it is. It is a homolamina, I'm gonna call it ghost. It's not, it's just what I know to be a homolamina that behaves a bit like a Philadelphia Florida ghost, right? Not naming it a bullshit name, just saying that's kind of what it is. I have one of these to pot up because I want to see how it does in my house. Uh, I know, I might not take it to my house. I'm gonna take one of these two. I'm almost debating taking this guy instead, but I might might take it, we'll see. I'm deliberately potting larger than I should, probably because it might go to the house. So don't necessarily try this at home. I don't recommend you pot plants up in pots that are too big, but I'm gonna give it a go, so you don't have to. So that's one thing I'm gonna be doing. Again, these are going in pond, completely and utterly. Little one of these, gonna go in pond. I have some pond down here that just needs to be reused. I'm probably gonna feed it afterwards. This is my feed, link on Amazon down below. Little update for you, it's working on Amazon. Oh, if you've bought this off Amazon, by the way, please leave me a review, because I know not everyone leaves reviews, but it, the, your review would really, really help me out there. So if you want that, the link is down below. If you don't wanna buy it from Amazon, you can buy it from my shop, but it is still only available in the UK. Anyway, this other thing I'm gonna pour, this is apparently, <laughs> it's not. This is apparently a Thai creme brulee, right? I really toyed between potting this up and potting up some Thai Constellation 1.0 that I've got. Now, when I say 1.0, all I mean is it's Thai Constellation that was pre, pre-2019, pre-2018 maybe, something like that, really, really old. And I've mentioned this before. I'm not saying it's super different. Again, I'm not trying to name things for that reason. I'm just trying to differentiate, but I've personally found that the old ties are a lot stronger than the new ties and the leaf to petiole kind of ratio is just better. It's just nicer. This is a little bit leggier, but I also know it hasn't been fed a ton and I wanna see what happens when I feed it. So I'm actually gonna pot this up a reasonable amount and I'm gonna put it in here. This is an l hole self-watering pot. Now I think it's gonna be fine because it's monstera and it's big and it's tough and it'll be all right. And again, it's in pond. My house is not very humid. That's why I've gone for something like this. We're just gonna see how it goes. Will my cats chew it? I don't know guys, maybe, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. So that's what I'm doing today. Give me one pause and I will have a look at some of your questions that you sent in. I have one or two updates for you, but let's have a look. Oh, first question. Someone asked me what I was doing on New Year's Eve because I posted a picture on my Instagram of, um, it was kind of like a, a murder mystery thing that I was doing and a few people were like, oh my God, what is it, what is it? I will link that for you down in the description. But basically I've kind of taken to doing some, I mean, this is the best way you can say it, a murder mystery kind of case file, right? Now you can get them nearly anywhere. Uh, mine is from, I think we'll do the big boy first, why not? Mine is from Amazon and they have a whole bunch of different ones. I've only done two so far. Uh, one of them I loved, the first one I ever did. The last one, I didn't like it so much. Um, and I think that's just to do with, it's hard to explain, but basically the way I work and the way I solve things. I think this one was supposed to be easier, but as such, I think I went into too much detail solving it. Whatever. Um, but that's what I've been doing recently because guys, it costs £20 for one of these things, right? Now you might think that's expensive. That's fair enough. But you can reuse them so you can swap them around with your friends if loads of different people buy them but it takes hours to solve, right? So a given one might take, might say it takes three hours. Personally, for me and somebody else solving it, it took us damn near double that. It was also our first one, but I think if you really want to get into it and you really want to take your time, it can take longer than that. You don't have to rush it and sort of find the answer. So I actually really recommend them if you want to save a bit of cash on a weekend and you're having like a stay at home 
weekend. I've been doing it with like some wine, a cheese board, that kind of thing. And honestly, it's literally my favorite thing. It's actually my favorite thing in the world to do now. So I completely recommend those. I know I got one or two questions anyway about what it was. I might have linked it the other day on, in on Instagram. So if you thought you saw me linking some from Amazon, that's exactly what I was linking. But I will link it for you again down below if you are curious. Um, that's not to say that you can only get those in the UK, by the way. I'm sure you can get those in the US. Um, let me know if any of you actually in the comments have tried these and tell me what your favorite ones are. Don't give me any spoilers, obviously, but if you have a favorite one that you've tried out of this series, let me know. Also, if there's any other like brands of this stuff that you've tried, let me know. I am so into this, guys. You have no idea. I absolutely love, 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 love murder mysteries. Like I used to watch them a lot actually as, as a kid, but not necessarily like Poirot and Murder, She Wrote and all that. My, my jam, guys, was Jonathan Creek. I tell you something, you find me a murder mystery that is as good as Jonathan Creek. You can't, you can't. That, that is my jam. That is my jam. So I'm not saying these puzzles are like that, they're not, but it's just, the whole thing is just my vibe. I like kind of impossible crimes and stuff like that. It really, really gets me going. So that's what I've been doing and I've enjoyed it a lot. And if you've been doing them, let me know how you like to do them. Because personally, to sit down with one on a Saturday night, you've got all your nibbles ready. It's nice. It's like, it's a little bit more interactive than, than watching a movie. And it's a bit more like problem solving, teamwork kind of thing and stuff like that. Um, I, if any families are watching, I mean, God help you if you watch my content, but uh, I think it is family friendly to a degree. I think it's like 14 plus just because obviously it covers murder and stuff. But um, it's, it's really, really cool if you're either doing it as a couple or you're doing it as like, I don't know, mates on a getaway or something, or you literally just want to have some kind of family night. I think they're absolutely mint. And as I say, if you have, um, I'm pulling off roots here as I talk, it's not good. If you have other people that you know that are also doing the same things, you can just swap because you don't write on anything. You get like a notepad and pen and sort of stuff like that. And you just swap them around with your friends. So couldn't recommend more. Please try it if you haven't already. At least try one of them. Um, I'm sure someone will be writing suggestions of which ones to try in the comments. So if you don't want to take my word for it, you can look at those. And uh, let me know what you think because it's literally my new thing, guys. It's absolutely my new thing. Now I need to be a bit more careful with this because I'll be honest, I'm being very heavy handed with these roots and I, I haven't snapped off a ton, but I have snapped off some. And that's probably not the best thing. Now, don't get wrong. It's a tie. It's not going to give a shit. It's not. We know. Even tie 2.0s that are a bit, it's not going to care. But I do still need to be a bit careful. But I also need to grab another question. Oh, I don't think anyone asked, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I passed my driving test, guys. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever been uh, as nervous for anything in my entire life. And this is going to mean nothing to any of you, bar like one or two people in the entirety of people to watch my videos right but you don't know how difficult it is not being able to drive you will i don't think i can ever fully tell you okay um it's very involved but i can't actually come here myself I can't drive to the unit myself. So I can't film when I want to. I can't work on the unit when I want to. I can't do any of those things. I'm not here all the time because I can't be. My horse, I can't see him when I want to. Obviously now I kind of can because now I can drive. But what I'm getting at is previously it was just virtually impossible to do anything without somebody else's help. So it's awesome that I've been able to do it. We're now having snow. So I didn't want to try and drive in the snow when I've been past less than a week. I passed last Tuesday. You're watching this the Friday after that Friday, if that makes sense. Um, so I've passed a bit and it's going fine. Like I feel confident enough. I was, I was taught really well, to be honest. Um, so that's good, but that's my main update on driving for you. Cause I'm sure somebody, you know what? Somebody might have asked me. I'm not really sure. I don't know how I'm going to scroll through my phone with all this stuff on me. Somebody might have asked, but if it, if they did, it's one person. But yeah, I passed my test. So I'm driving that cute little car around now and it's great. House tour, it's not that I don't want to, it's just that the house isn't done up. I think I've mentioned this before, it, there's nothing in it. It's a shell. The kitchen is a shell with a kitchen in it. Uh, the living room is probably the only room that looks done. It's not something you'd want to see, trust me. Uh, a few of you are asking me about Porched Anthurium. I'm getting this in a few times and what I will say is I don't know anything about it. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, I'm also debating turning my DMs back on. Hey, this is not an update I was going to give you at all. This is not an update I was going to give you, but you know what? I might just tell you. I wasn't going to tell you and I was going to do a video where it's like, hey, I turned them on. Um, I'm thinking about turning them back on and come up me because I thought, you know what? I can always turn them back off if it's, you know, whatever. But I feel like the plant community is in a much different place now and I think a lot of the dicks have left. 
Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. A lot of the dickheads, as we say in the UK, have left. So I think it might be all right to turn them on because I think, although I, I do pop my email up there, it's linked on my Instagram bio. Um, I don't feel people can contact me that readily about stuff to do with content and things like, for example, that poaching and stuff. So I'm debating turning them on. Um, I will probably, I might do an Instagram post saying that they're on. I don't know. Um, I'll play it by you. Um, but I'm thinking about doing that. So when you find that they're on, then you can probably send me some more stuff and I can take a good look at it. Um, but obviously there'll be a turnaround time on that because, you know, on this channel, I know I run my mouth, but I don't usually run it without knowing what I'm talking about to a degree. If that makes sense. And if I don't know what I'm talking about, I'll say, look, I don't know. I could be wrong. So I definitely want to check that. Trendy plants right now. I will wait for a video. I think that would be the best thing to do because I know that not everyone watches these. I don't think a lot of people watch these because it's just a completely different vibe. Ah, aquarium tour. Let's let's tackle that one. Um, so when I moved to my house, I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but I have the most beautiful wood floor in my house. And for a lot of reasons, it's funny that, you know, fish, an aquarium costs me more to run than what two cats do, two British shorthair cats. To cut a long story very short, guys, I've actually got rid of the aquarium. Um, I say I've got rid of it. It's actually in this unit. It's obviously empty. Um, it's turned up on its side. I dismantled all the cabinet down. Has I gotten a bigger aquarium since you guys knew? Maybe I put it on Instagram, maybe not. It was like a 395 litre aquarium. Can't seem to sell it, can't seem to get rid of it. Um, so if you're interested in buying a 395 litre aquarium, let me know. Um, but I, I rehomed all the fish first. I wasn't interested in selling them, even though, if I'm honest with you, there's probably three, four hundred pounds worth of fish in there. No problem. Um, but I just rehomed them. I literally dropped them off at a fish shop and was like, there you go. And they were so confused when I dropped them off. They were just like, right, these are really big fish. I was like, yeah, there you go. Because to be fair, a lot of fish shops aren't even buying fish in anyway. So even if I'd wanted to sell them, I, I couldn't have. Um, so I rehomed them first, dismantled the tank, had a proper company move it here because you can't just pick up a glass tank, especially not a 395 litre one. So that's been moved here as well. So the fish are no more, guys, but they're not no more as in dead. They've been rehomed. And it's a shame, you know, because I had some lovely plecos. Oh my God, I had some really, um, really unusual plecos. Did I have like a, what was it called? Like a yellow chubby pleco or a golden chubby pleco, leopard frogs. Um, my zebra pleco died a long time ago, uh, green phantom, blue phantom, oh god you name it, loads of syndontis, the rainbows I had you would die for, those are the rainbows that you've grown four or five years, you feel me, and they are big, they have got humps, they flash, they were gorgeous, um, all of those, big females as well, um, some huge torpedo barbs, God, what I had so many things. I had some, was it, no, what's, ah, it's a tetra that's rare and I can't remember what it was. They're red. They have a red line down them. They're tetra, but they're, they're big. They're not super long and streamlined. I can't remember what they are, but they were really, really nice. They're quite big, about an inch long and about half an inch high. The big fat tetra. They were unusual to get. I had some of those. I had loads. I had loads. But you know what? It just wasn't, it wasn't sustainable to, um, to have that. I kept them somewhere else before I got the house in moving out of Manchester to moving into my house. That wasn't seamless. Um, and they were kept somewhere else and, it just got to the point where it's like, I can't move them to my house. They're not going to come to my house. I need to just rehome them. So there you go. The fish are no more. I'm very sorry to disappoint. Um, off the back of that, someone may or may not ask me if I would like fish again. Yeah, I would, um, but I would do it differently. And I'd, I don't know if I would do it because I understand that the more water you have, the easier it is. But by, by that, it's a lot of maintenance. I think the answer would be, it would depend on where it would go. And I'd want it big enough so that it was easy to take care of. I wouldn't do a tiny tank or anything. And I would definitely understock it because mine, it was fantastic and it could take a huge load because I filtered it up to the max. I had like two huge OP filters working on it. I had UV sterilization. God, what did I not have on that thing? It was insane. It was insane. Just my CO2 tech is probably worth about 400 quid. It's not, it's not even funny, guys. Um, but I had loads of stuff in there to run it that made it just easy. And I do actually recommend that if you've got an aquarium. Honestly, if you spend a little bit of money on it, if you can, your your water parameters and everything are just going to stay a lot more stable. Um, even just the wood in that aquarium was worth a ton. It was going to be brought here, but I didn't trust that the wood would then be safe to like sell on or someone else to even have because because it's been in here and obviously we use chemical sprays on the plants and I didn't even want to think about anything getting absorbed into the wood. So I just got rid of the wood as well. It was a shame because it was a really nice piece of driftwood. But hey-ho. Um, so yeah, would I do it again? It's unlikely. Never say never. Maybe the answer is I just wouldn't do it in this house. 
maybe a different house. But obviously I've got my boys now and it's like, I've got two British short hairs. Not that they're demanding, but you know, they're my entire universe. Um, my horse gets the remainder of that universe. So it's it's a lot really. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if I need any more pets. I really don't. Um, so that's that basically. So I, I know that might disappoint some people because you never got to see the tour of it and stuff. But honestly, guys, I can't go into detail. I just can't. But my life has just not been what you think it has for the last three years at all. Like you'd be so wrong. Um, so it's just, it's not... It's just not good to keep them, I don't think. It's not, I don't have the time to, to um, dedicate to it and stuff. And it mainly, in, in the case of um, that, the fish tank would be in the kitchen and the skylights and everything were going to put, like, literally, I think I'd have to buy a cooler, a coolant for the water, like, um, heater and cooler. And that was going to be several hundred pounds just to get that in. And <sighs> no, just not, I honestly drew a line. No, it's been great while I've had them and I've had lots of enjoyment out of them. Um, but no, they are no more. And as again, I say, no more does not mean dead. They're all actually fine. I, they're probably being sold by now. I think I only dropped them off. Was it early last week? Might have been Monday last week or something like that. Um, something like that anyway. So they've not been gone long, but they've been gone long enough. Tell you what, I'm going to depot this while I'm still mossy and then I can sort of clean up and then start grabbing pots because, you know, I've got most of the moss off this. It's not 100%, but it doesn't need to be. If I kept a little bit of moss around these roots anyway, it'd probably help it acclimate a little bit better to the pond because it's going to go through a bit of a change coming to my house. So if it started to look a bit shit, I would almost expect it because this is like, what is this? It keeps flashing at me. Uh... 60% in here, so it is low at the moment because the heat is on more often, but it's going to drop into about a 40 or 30% situation, so it's the reason why I'm taking that. This, if I brought this home, I have no idea how it would do, to be honest. Uh, I, I mean, I could try. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to put this up regardless, just see how it does in pond. But this one will be very easy to remove. Again, I don't need to remove everything because it will help acclimate it a bit so it doesn't get shocked and dry out too much. So I'll just pull some off. I don't need to pull it all. She says that and then she basically pulls it all. I'm, I'm debating balling up some uh, moss back around that, to be honest. We'll see. We shall see. Right. I'm actually going to pot this first because it's manky, because obviously I need to pot it and then obviously I clean it afterwards when I'm not touching it. Not a lot of point cleaning these right now and then me touch it and get it dirty. So we'll do that. I might put a little bit back around, you know. I'll squeeze it out because this is very wet, sat in a tray like that but generally oh it's got slow release in that moss oh no make sure it doesn't because i'm going to use my feed on it so we're not doing that get off absolutely not at all right let me just put this in here uh do i have a little shovel different things in there i've got lecker and all sorts right there we go pond please put some in like that put him in there maybe seems good yeah, sod it. Let's go for that. So there is actually some moss around it just to make sure it sort of acclimates better because this is a very young plant. It's probably TC. Let's be honest. No, I'd say this all the time on this channel. I can't really tell you where every plant is from. To me, it looks TC. I've got a few of these. Full disclosure, if I had to guess how many I have, uh, could be 25. Could be 25. Don't quote me. Could be somewhere around about there. Um, I did want to grow them on a bit longer before I sold them. I don't really want to sell them like this. Um, maybe I might sell one or two of them smaller and see how they do, but yeah, they're doing all right. They have been fed with my feed and to be fair, they have sprouted a bit. Um, they, they vary in size. I think some of them are smaller than others, but they are they're definitely sprouting. This isn't the biggest one, but it's one of the bigger ones, if that makes sense. I nearly took the biggest one, but I thought, you know what? If it does for any reason shoot up in my house, it's got a bit longer to shoot up. Um, and I guess because I run a shop, I've got that luxury of just picking, like literally hand picking a size. Um, not that you wouldn't have the same luxury if you went into a shop and did it, of course, but I just get to sort of take my time and hand pick, and if I don't like it, I can swap it out. It's very good. It's one of the perks of the job. Right, I'm going to pop that in there. And that is that. There was nothing to that, and that's kind of an experiment, if I'm honest. I'm not really, you know, not really got any uh, objective in mind with that. It's just me sort of fucking around a little bit. So I put that in there. And again, we will have a little, little feed and a little clean of them at the end because I don't know if I can get can I get that off with gloves on because it's really going to annoy me if I can't oh I can right there we go I also I want to do a video right away it'll be the most boring video you've ever seen in your life but I really want to do a video of me actually just packing these um it could be fun I think when I do because I actually pack these by the way it's me packing them when I vacuum seal them it is a little bit noisy but 
I think we could be all right. I don't know. Or I can do the video vacuum seal, um, not vacuum seal, heat seal, sorry, most of these. And then the other bags are, they're heat sealed as well, but the heat sealer is different and it's quiet. So let me know if you're interested in literally me talking to you while I'm boxing up some feed. Why not? To send to Amazon. Maybe you could, you could just see what it's like. It will be boring, but we will chat. It'll be fun. Um, it's the kind of thing I'd live stream that, to be honest. But I don't know how to live stream from just the DSLR with a computer and everything else. I need to look into that because it could be fun. I, I'm all for live streaming. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in that, let me know. But I'm telling you guys, it will be the most boring shit you've ever seen. But hey, it's different, right? So... It'll be an extra video, it won't be a main video. Right, so, I was gonna say something, you know what, it's left me, it's absolutely vacated me, what was I gonna say to you? Gone, it has gone. Oh, have I splattered feed everywhere when I've been shaking that round? It's probably because it's leaked. Yeah, I think I have. Well, that must have been fun to watch. Just feed splatting everywhere. Um, very quickly, living wall, you don't wanna see it, guys. Um, every, I, everyone is asking, by the way, everyone is asking, but I need you to know it's not good. So if you remember, if you just visually think of my living wall, looking at it on the, on your left, so my right, there is a, a big, uh, Monstera Deliciosa that I put on. Not the big one, just a small form. That's all the way to the ceiling practically. And that's actually healthy, but of course it is. It's Monstera. Likewise, the other side, that big Monstera, it's, it's, got smaller because it hasn't been fed and it's nearly touching the top of the the wall it was felted so not to the ceiling but sort of halfway up we've got a golden dragon that's still alive uh on the wall and honestly after that totally honest with you it's all dead it's all dead all the dubai is gone um most of it's gone so to look at the wall it's mainly brown and it's all just hanging down because I've got so much feed in front of it, I can't get to it to kind of sort it out. So the whole unit sort of needs like an overhaul um, and a rearrange so I can just do things differently in here. And I will be working on that totally whenever I can. It's just very hard when it's just me, if you know what I mean. So I'll be doing that. Everything in the bottom of the wall, by the way, is actually alive. So everything that was planted in the lecker is fine. Um, but everything else is just a bit, it's not good. So that's why I'm not showing you the wall. The wall will be coming down. When I say coming down, the wall still sit there. I'll probably keep the bin in the bottom for lecker because it's really useful. But other than that, there won't really be anything in there. I'll probably keep the two Monstera there because they're alive and there's no point doing anything about it and just keep the stuff in the bottom of the wall. Because eventually, because generally all I do is just give it a light spritz over the top and it's keeping them sort of okay. And I don't mind that. Um, but everything else, gone. Gone, gone, gone. And it's sad, but it is what it is. It's just some absolutely brutal summers. Some really unlucky things have happened with heating going off and all sorts of stuff. And it just, it is what it is. It was very, very big undertaking with not a lot of planning. So I'm not surprised, but you live and you learn, don't you? Uh, what else? Oh, future merch. Yes. Yes. So again, I will talk about this very briefly. The link to this is my description. This is my long boy merch. I absolutely adore it. I can't get enough of it. I wear it all the time, literally. Not even kidding. I wear it all the time. Uh, I'm in the process of making another one. And I think you might like it. It will have very similar vibes. So if this is not your vibe, I'm telling you now the next one won't be your vibe, but I am actually making another one. Um, I don't know when that'll be ready. Um, we will see. We will see. I need to sign off on it and then have it made and stuff like that. Um, I'm not in like a, any waiting time to put it out. I'll happily put out all the merch. I don't mind. But I just want to come up with cool shit, you know? So I think the next one I'm making is cool shit. So I will let you know. You'll be the first to know because I'll be wearing it. I'll be wearing it when I release it. Um, and I might make some shorts or some some Instagram posts of my merch and stuff because there's only one post of my merch, which is lovely, but I need more of them. Again, timing. Like I'm only just able to drive now, which is great and all, but I haven't had the, the chance to get a routine yet because I was driving six days and then the snow's hit. So not ideal, not ideal. Right, let me build this. See if I can get another case, Jan. Because if you never had these before, you have to build them. So pull out the bottom. Although some things use this in the bottom, so this is obviously a new insert and an old outsert. But it's fine. It's fine. Right. I think I've got a few people asking me about the pony, my horse, and how he's doing. He's very well. Obviously, it is winter, and he is a, a native pony. I don't know if I did, um, I think I put something on, I think it was a YouTube video, I can't remember what it was now. Basically saying, can you guys guess what breed he is? Maybe two people got it right. Um, but he's a native pony to the UK. Um, so he lives off fresh air basically. And he's a little bit fat at the minute because since I have not been able to drive, I've barely been able to get to him. So I saw him two or three times. I think I've seen him three times in the last week, which is about 5 million percent more than what I've been able to see him in three months. Really sad, genuinely really sad. But all that is fixed now because I can drive. Um, so I wouldn't have had much an update for you anyway because I haven't been able to see him. But obviously 
deliveries at is very good they take good care of him so i know he is always fine when i am not there please do not go thinking i neglect my horse he is on full livery which if you don't know just means he basically has staff that take care of him um that sounds really bougie it's not loads of places do it i'm sure you get i think in america it's full board or something like that um so it's very normal <laughs> Uh, it's just I can't I don't have the routine where I can do it myself I'm not one of these people that would not do it myself believe me I would more than do it myself I just think I've got too many business things to be able to get up at, at 5 a.m every day and then 5 p.m every day exactly the same time every day and it never change I can't really do that so until there is a day where I can do that he's just gonna have to be as he is but he's fine he's all right um, he's in very light work <laughs> Uh, which I'm sure pleases him greatly. And it's funny because if I ever haven't ridden him for a while, he's not the kind of horse where you have to ride all the time to keep him going. He's actually all right. And I'm good enough at riding now that if I haven't got on him for three weeks and I just get on, it's fun time. Like, he didn't do anything. He's just, he's actually quite forward. It's weird. He's forward anyway. It's really weird. He's forward anyway. He's just a bit defiant, you know, he's a bit stubborn. And that, that should give you a clue as to the breed. Um, but he's a lovely boy anyway. But I'm looking forward to riding him more definitely soon. Oh, it's hard to push in that. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to it. It's going to be really nice. But I don't have too much of an update to give you. Other than he is very well. He's looking well. He's well looked after. And I just miss him, man. I'm so ready to do loads of hacking now. Because I've had some problems... Um, hacking on roads and stuff. I don't know what I've mentioned of this and what I haven't. I actually, he does have his own YouTube channel, by the way. Just no one's found it. No one's found it. Uh, but he does have one. I don't know if I've set it up for search engine optimization so you could find it by typing it. I don't know. You can try and find it if you like. Um, but he does actually have a YouTube channel. There's only like three or four videos on it, but it's it's um, GoPro of hacking. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so if you want to see that, maybe try and look for it. And again, I will reveal him. I will do a video. I just, I didn't know how many people cared, if I'm honest. Um, because I know the other horse stuff was different. It was like a whole saga and, you know, you guys were following along with me and stuff like that. This is just different. This is just like I have my, my life partner now and we, we do things together and it's great, you know. Um, so it's a bit different and I appreciate that. So I didn't know what people wanted to see and what they didn't want to see and stuff like that. But it is absolutely the plan to do it. Again, God, I couldn't even tell you how insane this has been for me the past three years, but specifically the past year. It's been very difficult for me, guys. Um, finances aren't great and I've had to do a lot of, a lot of things. Um, so it is what it is. I have struggled. I'm still struggling to be honest, but c'est la vie. Oh God. Sorry. I'm just trying to do this without letting this go. Like I'm traveling tomorrow and then I'm back the day after, but I cannot be bothered. I honestly, guys, I know actually all it is, it sounds so silly, all it is, I'm going home to have my hair done because it needs done. That's why we look how we'd, we'd be looking today. And I just can't be bothered. It's two and a half hour drive. Um, and I'm driving it because I need to get used to motorways now because I don't know what it's like in the US or anything. You have motorways, freeways, highways. I don't know what the hell they are. But over here, you can't drive on a motorway till you've passed your test unless, before anyone smart in the comments tells me, unless you are in a marked instructor's vehicle with dual controls with an instructor. Then you can drive on the motorway. They've changed it, if you didn't know. Um, but in general, couldn't drive on a motorway. So that's something I've been wanting to do, haven't been able to do it. Um, so I want to do it so I can start driving other places, I think, um, which should be quite nice. I'm saying this now, I don't know, but I might be trying to move livery yards. Um, nothing to do with the livery itself. Can't stress that enough. It's a lovely livery. It's just I think me and my pony need better hacking. I need some uh, off-road hacking. Uh, so I'm currently looking for that. So I might be moving him. But again, literally nothing wrong with the livery. I would totally go back. Um, but I'm kind of seeing what's out there at the moment because I'm not really good enough on my own to have the experience to help him get used to the roads and equestrians will know exactly what I'm talking about. I, I'm not there yet. I'm so much better than what I was, but I'm not there yet. And I'm, I don't have the consistency of the routine either to get him good at it. Um, so I think what I want to do just for a couple of years or something, just take him away from the roads. Okay. Just take him away from the roads, get some beautiful off-road hacking and just have fun with him. I don't want to just be stuck in an arena all the time or anything like that. That's not what I want for him. So I want him to have somewhere really beautiful where I can do that. Where I'm at, it's fantastic. Literally the arena I'm in is actually large than normal. I can't remember what it is. Um, it's huge though. It's a huge arena. It's not normal size. 
It's not 40 by 20, it's bigger than that. I can't remember how big it is. Huge, 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 huge. Um, it has turnout, all the things, limited winter turnout, loads of staff to look after him. He's not short on staff. It's just the hacking. It is countryside hacking, but it's still on a road. It's on a quiet country road, but it's still on a road and there's tractors and things like that. And I never, I've never told you this, but I nearly lost my pony uh, last year at some point. Uh, maybe in summer because he was so spooked by I think it was the air brakes on a tractor we pulled in off a road because it was the only way it's the only way you could go when we were hacking um, and we me and another rider pulled in off the road just to the side and we didn't notice the cattle grid honestly about 15 meters that way from us but the air brakes spooked him so hard he sort of bolted that way and I managed to stop my pony about that far from the cattle grid and uh, I never want to do that again so since then hacking's not been great uh, I've got some of it um, on my channel actually because it, it is hacking on roads and I do briefly talk about like the work we've done to get him better and in the video he is a lot better but it took a lot and I think I do explain the things that it took to get him there in that video if you find it um, but again he lost the routine because I, I stopped being able to go up there and see him so I would see him like once a week if that so it was no good so he's lost all that now so it, the work would have to restart um, and that took that genuinely took other people riding him to do it because I remember when he got so bad um the delivery manager hacked him, rang me up and said, how have you been hacking this? This is real dangerous for us and we can ride. <laughs> so it got bad, bless him. He's not doing it to be naughty. He sometimes plays up on it. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But generally speaking, he's just a worrier. He's an overthinker like me. Me and him are the same. He is me in horse form. So if I overthink, he overthinks. If I overthink, he overthinks. And it escalates. So bless his heart. I would never change him for the world. Trust me, he is with me for life. He'll probably be the only horse I ever have. And I was thinking about this this morning. I think because he's only he just turned eight in horse years he's just turned eight um i'd have him my entire life and i think i might be done with horses after that it depends on how long he lives and what i can do with them if you know what i mean it really depends maybe there might be one more after him but it would be something that i can just give some really nice light you know light adventure with it won't be anything you know crazy or anything not that he has a crazy life a lot of people would say he was wasted with me but horses don't think like that do they people do um so yeah, I'll let you know how that goes and I, I will introduce you to him. I need to make the video. Maybe in a, in a few weeks I can do that. Um, the problem is I don't have videos of me riding him. Not without buying equipment, which I'm not prepared to do at the moment. I'm very skint. But I don't have videos of me actually riding him. So all the footage I have of him, it's either a photograph or a video of him on the ground and I'm right next to him. So I can't even get good content of him, if that makes sense. I'm quite like alone in it. So <laughs> it sounds really sad. It's not. I, uh, I just struggle with that sort of stuff. But I will see what I can do, guys. I promise right then can i have ooh, un jug two seconds guys two seconds all right all right just filling up some water to feed le plant i'm probably gonna take it from here today i think i might leave it let it acclimate a little bit into its pot first before taking it that makes a lot more sense to me than about you it just does to me so i'm gonna feed it this is a liter of water i'm pretty sure i need two mil don't i uh Mmm, I've had a question on this before and people are like, what do I add to Lekka? I'm going to do, I'm going to do two mil to a litre here. So I'm actually going to go with the potting mix option. Now you could do potting mix, you could do hydroponic, but given the fact that it's a little bit more dense, I'm going to go with two mils. Now remember, I made this a certain way so that it, there was more room for error. If you got it wrong, you're not going to kill all your plant collection. So just remember that. So I'm going to pour out two mil like that. Oh, that was bang on two mil. Beautiful. Um, there's a fun fact about my um, feed, by the way, that I don't think you might know about because basically you're getting it in a little pouch like this, right? And I have things in different containers. For example, mine comes for personal use, comes a little bit more like this. If I ever have like a, a malfunction on a packet, I'll use one of these, great, cool. Um, but generally speaking, we water things like this, right? So what you won't know, because you won't be doing it with this feed, although you should shake before use, and I've just forgotten to do that. It'll be fine, don't worry about it. You will notice that it actually smells a bit like chocolate milkshake. Honestly, you can laugh. You can laugh all you want. Next time you feed your plants with my feed, I implore you, take a whiff. It's like, it's kind of like Bailey's but chocolate. So it's like chocolate milkshake with like a little bit of like a liqueur effect. I promise you I'm not making that up. I promise you I'm not making that up. Um, I had someone at my house the other week 
And I said, by the way, it smells like this. I'm like, no, it doesn't. And I had some in the kitchen in like a different kind of bottle. Uh, not even those, just like a more normal bottle. Um, and I shook it up and opened it and got her to smell it. And she was like, oh my God, it does. So there's fun fact, if you didn't know. If you didn't know at all, that's what it smells like. So I'm just gonna water this through. And I am being slapdash here, don't get me wrong, but I did kind of make this so that it, you're not gonna kill anything if you go too far. But yeah, I'm gonna do two mil. I will let you know how that goes. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Pond is a tricky one because it's not hydroponic and it's not soil. It's some weird hybrid in between. So obviously when in doubt, go weaker. That's why I selected two mil if you're wondering where my head was at. Oh God, itchy. Ah. If you want to do a four leaf feed, you can do one mil a litre, of course, but we're going with two because that's what I think it needs. So I'm just going to put it in. I'm going to water all across the soil, just the soil. You know what I mean, guys, the pond. Just to actually wet the pond through because that pond's been there a while, like that. Okay, we will leave him like that. He's quite cute. He's quite cute. He's not great, apparently, by the way, creme brulee. A lot of shit, if you ask me. Two minutes. And then we shall do one more of those and then whatever excess there is i will just uh pop it somewhere else i think so i'm gonna water this it won't take half as much i just want to see what it does and again these have been fed with my feet before and it has not killed them and they are tiny so it must be all right there we go la 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 let it do its thing so i don't over water it realize you can't necessarily see this but i promise you it's nothing interesting again i'm watering all around it so that it um gets nice and wet a little bit more. To be honest, the roots are so far up, it really won't matter if it's a bit, um, a bit much. Right, what can I water? You've been watered. What can I water? I can water this big guy here. You know, I wonder, I wonder what it does to Hoya. I wonder what it does to Hoya. Let's give this to Hoya. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong, guys? What could possibly go wrong? There we go. What else have I got? Yes, it's going to dribble. It's fine. Um, what can I actually do? I don't know if I've got anything fun to water, actually. You know what? This Monstera can have it. Like that, that's not it. It's not exactly a lot anyway. It won't do much for him, I don't think, because he needs an actual water. But there you have it. So, let me put the lid back on this guy. Again, I would be using mine. It's not to like plug it or anything. It's genuinely, it was leaking. So <laughs> that's why it's on the table. So we have here the potted up, I'm gonna call it Homlamina Ghost until I know what the hell it is, guys. I'm gonna have to figure out what it is to sell it. If not, I'll write Homlamina Ghost, but I'll be very prompt in explaining you in the listing that I don't know quite what it is, you know? I'm not in the business of giving silly names. I understand you have to differentiate things, and I kind of recommend that sellers do that. If you want to do that, fine. But then immediately in the listing, you should be like, yeah, yo, by the way, this is the tea. Don't just run with it. That's the difference, that's the difference. Like for example, this guy, why has he been turned around like that? Been like that the whole time, I didn't know. How upsetting is that this guy and he is this big he's level with me this is mysterious dark boy um i don't know what he is so i call him mysterious dark boy but when i sell him i immediately say yo this could be this could be this don't know unknown don't know do you know what i mean and i think that's the difference i think that's the difference with sellers you can you can make names up as long as long as you're not being stupid i mean i call him mysterious dark boy it's meant to be stupid it's meant to take the piss do you know what i mean plus it's a great name anyway but yeah i think you can do that just just say so in the listing so that's what I'm going to call him. And obviously this is apparently a Thai creme brulee. I don't think it is, guys. I think it's bullshit, but we will see. But he's doing very cute. And I think I was going to take them away today. I might just leave them, let them acclimate here a little bit. I might take the little guy. Actually, I've way overwatered him. Two seconds. Like, way overwatered him. He's a bit much. I'll put that out there. Doesn't take much with these, though, does it? We're still way up. Really? How much does it want in there? Right, I'm not tipping out any more than that. Hang on a minute. Oh no. Is this broke? Oh, now I pulled too much out. Can't win. It got stuck. Oh. That's a really big con of self watering pots, and it happens to everybody when the little, uh, the little straw bit, the water meter just goes poof. Because now this one's too full. But is it too full? Yeah, this one is actually too full. It's a monster. I'm not worried. I'm literally not worried. So that's that. So that is it for this week's video. Uh, more content should be coming for you soon. I did. I was supposed to have extra content out, but it's the snow's really screwed me over, to be honest. Really screwed me over. Typical typical but at some point you'll have your extra content um very shortly i'll be making more videos in that office if you've seen last week's video then you'll know what i mean i'm gonna do some more videos in there so if you'd like anything for me to react to anything to do like that i will put the email on the screen now of what you can use to send me stuff to react to and take a look at or content ideas generally that's cool um and i guess that's it for this week's video guys i will love you and leave you my feed is in the description my merch is in the description uh i feel like that's it uh yeah stay tuned for the shop opening very soon with some gorgeous plants let me pick some up because these are absolutely ready to go 
They have not even, like not changed one tiny bit since I brought them in. Not even a speck is different on these plants. I'm really happy with them. I've got loads of new root growth. I'm very happy with those. So they will be on the site very shortly, as well as some blue oily boys and stuff like that. But I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Don't worry about it. Uh, maybe in the next week or two weeks when the snow isn't here anymore. Because I'm still waiting to send out some boxes from the shop, but I can't because there's snow. So if you've got an order with me and you're waiting, that's why <laughs> we have snow. I can't drive. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this week's video, guys. I will love you and leave you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.